Well, there's been a lot of uh, discussion here lately on DMMS, defined minimum maneuvering speed. Uh, I've noticed quite a few people making comments, not only on our channel, but uh, Dan Greider's channel, Probable Cause, and I think even a few on Juan Brown's Blanco Lirio channel as well. And the, the questions come up on, uh, if you got a G1000, what do you do? Well, well there's two schools of thought there that I've kind of looked at. W one is, uh, you know, you can do what Dan says is cut you some little strips, one of those little fluorescent little stick em strips on the uh, backup gauges. Uh, although I, I don't know how well you would probably do that or not. It would be good just for reference. Uh, another thing you can do on the G1000 is if you come up here to your soft key on the timer reference, actually come in here and select your, uh, your VR, your VX, VY, and your glide speed. Uh, on, on ours, what we have discovered is you could um, change that right there. Now, you, as you see, there's a little asterisk that pops up because that is something that is different than the default values that are loaded from the factory. However, uh, what I'll do is I'll go over here, you press menu and restore defaults, then it goes back to 76 knots. So when I calculate what the DMMS is on this airplane, the uh, clean stall is 51 knots and you multiply that times 1.4 zero four, you come up with 72, 71.6, but 72 knots. What I have done is I just go ahead and just leave the default on there. Uh, it gives you a little bit of a buffer, um, and, and, and at least that way it's, it's, it's marked on the tape. And then you can come on, if you don't need V-Rotate, you can turn that on or off, uh, or VX or VY. I know I'm going to rotate around 60 knots, so I typically leave that off. Now the only problem is, if you change that to 72 knots, which would be a little bit more accurate, when you shut down and start back up, it will revert back to the defaults. Uh, that's kind of a good feature and kind of a bad feature, depends on which way you want to view it. But that's how you would set something up in the G1000. And like I said, you could, uh, you could change that to, to any of the values that you calculate it out as. It doesn't take a minute to do it. It could be part of your pre-startup uh, uh, checklist just to enter that value in. Uh, but I look at it as any, once I get to that 76 knots, I'm getting close and it's time to watch your speed. So especially in the pattern, my normal pattern speeds are 90 knots on downwind about 80 on, on base and 75-ish on final. Now that 75, you go, oh my gosh, well you're above your DMMS, okay. The, the key word there I think people are getting kind of wrapped around the axle on, it's defined minimum maneuvering speed. When you're on final, you're not maneuvering. You should be at a stabilized approach at that point and there go, you're not maneuvering. So uh, that's, that's the reason why you switch from a DMMS uh, speed reference to whatever your, your VREP is, you know, whatever your approach speed is or, or whatever your, you know, you set up a lot of guys come in about 70 knots, some 75, depending on how many flap, uh, degrees of flaps you got in. And, and so at that point, you just, DMMS goes out the window. You're, you're now on VREP. I know some of the jet pilots, when they do a circle to land, they have to actually load in their V-REP speeds uh, based on you know the, the weight of the plane and uh, the uh, density altitude. They'll actually come in and they'll have their V-REP, but on a circle to land, uh, like kind of going across midfield or something along those lines, what they're doing is, is they're just taking V-REP and adding 10 knots uh, for a circle to land, which would be kind of like being in a pattern and then they would transition from that to their V-REP once they got on final. So anyway, that's kind of the way you would set things up in a G1000. Uh, I believe if you so desired, you could go to an avionics shop and they might be able to uh, change those defaults for you. You just can't change them permanently. 
because uh, it'll always restore back to the original factory defaults. So that's kind of in a nutshell on the G1000. Anyway, hope that helps um, and kind of alleviates a little of the good on uh, people thinking DMMS applied to the entire uh, route of flight when you're in the pattern, and it does not once you get on final.